Hello everyone, welcome to Cyberstream Gaming, home of the world's 14th leading hemorrhoidal society. I'm Sam. I'm Caleb. Oh, I'm Jonathan. And we're playing Fibbage 2. Twice the stuff. That's the prequel to Fibbage 3, in case you were wondering. Yes. And the sequel to Fibbage 1. It's the Fibbage the pre-sequel. Yeah. Yes. It's... Borderlands got nothing on this. <laughs> <laughs> This is Round one. It is possibly the greatest game ever made, and that's why we're gonna uh, talk over it instead of listening to anything he's saying. Well, you turn it way down, dude. I can't. I can't even hear Cookie. <laughs> Did you want to hear Cookie? Sometimes he talks about Menage a Trois and stuff. Okay, I don't. <laughs> we don't need to talk about your Menage a Trois. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, when you play with three people, he goes a Menage a Threesome. <laughs> well, we're starting off with death. That's a. That's a good start. <laughs> 73-year-old well, Carl Moore of Placer County, California, saved his dog Lacey from certain death. He did this by blank. <laughs> Feeding it live squirrels. That, okay. That's going to be the answer. I'm predicting it right now. Do it now. I just realized mine is surprisingly dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a hint. Except that it's not. It's really not light and fluffy. <laughs> I mean, this whole conversation... He saved I mean, her this, this topic by, is, uh, is kind of dark. dark yeah, Jonathan topic. wanted to start us off with death. Not anything nice like therapist. Punching a bear. <laughs> Punching a bear. Giving it CPR. Eating a spoonful of ketchup. And amputating her back legs. Ah... Uh, Wait, did Carl eat the spoonful of ketchup, or did the dog? I guess punching the bear is the bear attacking it. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. The bear would just turn and eat him. Uh, and are we manipulating so the game by talking about it? <laughs> <laughs> Amputating your back legs. Thank you for the points, He's Caleb. Gonna, it's punching a bear? Is it really punching a bear? It ha that has to be it. That's what I picked. It's not ketchup. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Dang it! Yes. Ketchup didn't make any sense. Why would he save a dog by eating ketchup? I know. Why she ask Jonathan? <laughs> I, don't, Jonathan. I don't know. I just wanted to go <laughs> something off the bounds, you know? I thought it made more sense that he would have You're to amputate his legs than punch a bear. <laughs> like I said, mine was dark. <laughs> teacher. I, mean, I want to be a teacher, so I should obviously get this. Coincidentally, he doesn't want a paycheck, so... <laughs> All right, June of 2015, <laughs> teachers from a school located in Ghana threatened to boycott classes if students did not stop blank in the classroom. Well, <laughs> um, there's a lot of IMGs. I know what you're <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're all going to put something, like, really over the top, and it's going to be really, like, really Subtle. lame, like, like talking or like <laughs> <laughs> he was looking at me in the classroom pooping, pooping farting pooping, dancing, dancing counting, counting freckles <laughs> <laughs> uh, counting well. freckles <laughs> what <laughs> okay all right all right um this is hard I don't think I picked the right one. I used the defibrillator and I'm still not confident. <laughs> I, yeah. I got nothing. <laughs> Seems like Jonathan would have put counting freckles. <laughs> I figured he put pooping. <laughs> Probably wrong. No, no. It's pooping. Yes! <laughs> it's pooping. That's what I picked. <laughs> Thanks for the points, Jonathan. Why? Yeah! <laughs> Why? <laughs> they're in That's Ghana. Disgusting. A lot of them are grew up like on the streets they just pooped where you were <laughs> that's, that's wonderful why freckles didn't make sense because in their skin they don't have dark. freckles yeah <laughs> they wouldn't have freckles they have like moles or birthmarks or something <laughs> Jonathan continues to put answers that don't make any dang sense sometime he's gonna get us to pick it like without meaning to it's gonna make sense somehow uh, weddings. Weddings are fun, yeah. especially when. Oh no, I hate weddings. <laughs> <laughs> For her wedding in 1840, Queen Victoria of Great Britain received the rather unusual gift of a thousand pound blank. Caleb, oh. it is not what you're thinking. I promise. 
I heard King Albert was well endowed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did you hear that? Where did you hear that? Uh... Up, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jonathan missed it. No, no. <laughs> uh. Wheel of cheese, uh. hay bale, crown, and stripper. It's <laughs> eighteen forty. They had a thousand pounds stripper. <laughs> 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 Stripper? <laughs> no. Has there been a human that got up to a thousand pounds? <laughs> I don't That's know. That's really heavy. I, I don't know. I want to say the, the fattest yeah, the man alive. Was like, Let's see. But I don't know. Yeah. The, okay. the fattest man alive was like 12. I didn't put it in, with expecting you to guess it. I put it because I thought of it and I was like, that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, Jonathan's answer was spectacular. <laughs> Mine was better than I that. Didn't, I didn't even have time to figure out how to spell it. I always forget to use the Did I spell hay bale right? Yeah, you did. Okay. B-A-I-L is like... Is like bail out of jail. Yeah, or like bail out of, like out of a ship or sinking ship or something. Stab. You're stabbed. I want to stab Christopher. Somebody. Stab Christopher. Uh, on Saturday. Give him dolls. injuries. Dolls. <laughs> Jonathan loves dolls. So... Jane Harris runs an unusual business. She only sells dolls that blank. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the dirtiest set of questions we have ever gotten. <laughs> I have a pretty good answer for this. I hope I do. <laughs> you probably don't. They have no eyes, right? <laughs> maybe they're... Maybe they're... <laughs> They're all blind. <laughs> That's uh, blind people model for her. <laughs> all right, you're almost out of time, Jonathan. Well, blind people have eyes. Just don't look uh, there you go. I don't have... All right, dolls that are possessed, <laughs> bleed cotton, karate chop, are not humanoid. <laughs> what? None of these make sense. At all. <laughs> this is terrible. Bleed cotton. <laughs> I... I, this is a hard one. Got... <laughs> if you're a doll, maybe. <laughs> if you're a teddy bear. Dolls don't have uh... cotton stuffed in them. <laughs> Karate chop, thank that you, That was Jonathan. obviously Sam's. <laughs> Sam and I pretty much know exactly which one is our... We tend to be pretty good at picking each other. That's because we played together so much. Yeah, that and was, we're predictable. Is it really possessed? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it because possessed. Was, that was so out there. What? I mean, obviously. Th I thought that's what you put. To be honest, I really it, thought that's what Caleb would put. You know what people think of him, but. I mean, Caleb thinks of possessed all <laughs> a lot, so it only made sense. I thought Karate Chop was a pretty good answer, though. I was look, going back a little Toy Story. You know. <laughs> All right, spa. Ooh, Caleb loves the spa. <laughs> We're going to the spa. Found, there's founding and fathers, <laughs> so I need to pick one. I'm gonna do <laughs> I need to go to the spa and get my back twinkled. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> uh, the co-founder of a small Australian colony that eventually became Melbourne, Australia, was a man by the name, believe it or not, John Blank. Was it Mellencamp? Hand oh, park. I bet I know what it is. Oh, it wasn't the truth. <laughs> I like that it tells you in the end it's the truth. Halfway up, Jonathan. Sense. I guess it has to, because otherwise there would be two answers. John Johnson, John Batman, John Cockhand, John Melton. Melton from Melbourne. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for explaining that one. Batman's not significant until Batman's been invented, which he hadn't then. <laughs> Does it give a year? I think so. I'm gonna pick it, and I... There's no way it's right. There's no way. Dang it, Jonathan. Oh my you god. idiot! <laughs> he got us! He got us! Yes! Yeah, that's mine. 
Just... Uh, what is it? It's Batman. It's Batman? It's Batman. <laughs> no, why it's Batman? It's Batman. Uh, why? <laughs> Melbourne was founded by Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I actually knew a guy at school named John Johnson, though. That's not... I mean, it's a stupid name, but it's not that uncommon. I mean... Yeah. Guy Fox's real name, or his pseudonym uh, that he <laughs> went hand. about under was John Johnson. Cockhand. You got us with cockhand. Okay. That, okay I weird. Thought, I thought it said weird. I wonder what this game's idea of weird is. <laughs> Celebrity quotes of great importance. All right, so that and it's, it's on toilet paper important. anyway. Uh, woo! All right, I think I could blank. Is that weird? Jessica Biel in a 2004 interview. Jessica Biel is an actress. Isn't she married to Justin Timberlake? I really don't know. I don't know who that is. I, I don't really either. But the name's familiar. <laughs> I think that's who it is. But anyway. What can Jessica Biel do? <laughs> Drink my own blood, enter a lie, squat in space, push air out of my belly button. Well, this is incredibly stupid. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think I guessed wrong. I think I guessed wrong too. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. It's the only one that really makes sense. Yeah. But I, I, didn't think that I guess Jonathan got us again. I thought I guessed <laughs> wrong. It's going to be drink my own blood. <laughs> drink my own blood? I knew Ew. it! As soon as I clicked push air at my belly button, I was like, that's the one Jonathan <laughs> Air out of my belly button was really good. Why is he winning? <laughs> I'm, well, I'm in last place. Okay, well, that's that's a little humbling. Uh, well, it's the last round now. You can make like squat in space. You can make like ten thousand points off of it. I figured squat in space was really stupid enough. It seemed like something a nope, celebrity. Nope. The other two are stupider. <laughs> but there's so many levels to dumb. <laughs> anyway, this is the final fibbage. And that final fibbage, the official name for each small, breakable part of a Hershey's chocolate bar. There's a name? Wow. Uh. I just call them squares. <laughs> well, we all know what Caleb Plow's gonna be. <laughs> Tiny rectangles. <laughs> Tiny rectangles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna. Jonathan's gonna put something like horse pellets. <laughs> no, I'm a, not. A pip, a clintock, a nugget, and a drops of happiness. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have no idea. I have to guess it right to win. <laughs> I, there's two options, and I think I picked the right one. Uh, but. <laughs> uh, not, I actually know the answer to this one. This is kind of weird. Do you really? Really? Yeah, it's a pip. Oh, sweet. It's a pip. Well, that means Jonathan wins. Woo, Jonathan. Go die in a hole. <laughs> Great. I didn't even know I won because I didn't see my score the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you started in, like, absolute last, and you just got the last three in a row, and you won. All right, I got 7,000. Caleb got 9,500. You got more. 11,000. 11,000. <laughs> Woo! Holy the thumbs cow, better than all of you. Jonathan. Eight <laughs> likes. Is what? shared by not Jonathan. What? <laughs> We're better than him. We're funnier. That's what no. it. That's all it means. All right, let's go again. One more. All right, Cal uh, Caleb's potato. gonna pick potato. <laughs> yeah. Potato. A New Mexico potato. man was arrested after he reportedly entered a stranger's home, made a baked potato, and then, after he was discovered and asked to leave, went outside to blank. I'm, I'm, I think I know this one actually. I think I've heard this story. <laughs> Wasn't the truth? Whatever. In case you're wondering, it wasn't Chase Butterflies. Really fun. Chase Butterfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Chase, okay. Uh, to pee, pick up dog poop, <laughs> rake the leaves, and feed the stranger's chickens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got nothing. I, I really, I have no I idea. I have no idea. I'm just shooting in the dark. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Ah, dang it. Yeah! <laughs> I'll no. just after a strange well, and wonderful start. It's Rake the Leaves. Is it Rake the Leaves? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Perfect I it, round. I knew it was Rake Woo! the Leaves or Darn. Feed the Chickens. <clears throat> well, feeding the Stranger's Chickens. That's really you know, stupid. Yeah. I'd rather you do good in the early round, though. I'd rather me win. I didn't think... It, I don't know. I thought the really long answer was more likely to be one game for me. Oh, I get to pick. It uh, said Christopher a lot, dude. Christopher, Christopher Walken. Yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, hey, I didn't know it said Walken. Okay. That's actually cool. All right, before becoming a huge star, Christopher Walken spent his teenage years traveling the country as a blank. I think I know this one. <laughs> I don't, but I'm going to say that. Child prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> No. A lot of times Whoa. I have to say the really funny one I think of because I don't want to put Whoa. it because it won't help me. No, you just want to put it in audio so we can use it as a sound bite later in your life when you're running for office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to run for office. You can't now. <laughs> All right, Lion Tabor, mime in a circus, hippie musician, and a gypsy. Well, hippie musician and gypsy are the same. Lion Tabor and mime in a circus are the same. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do know the answer to this now that I see it. I don't know why I know this, but anyway. Uh, do you really? Yeah, I do know the answer. <laughs> Clearly, Jonathan does too. <laughs> Judging by that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That was, that was me not knowing. Mime in a circus. No! Thank you, fellas. What, what is happening? <laughs> I'm winning. We're lining his it's Lion Tamer. <laughs> it is Lion Tamer. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. He'll stop doing well once the once the rest once of the, the actual stopped. points. That's what he did last time. Point. Yeah, I'll let you know me. You got to four thousand and stopped till the last round. Yeah. <clears throat> Hippie musician and a gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy's not a bad answer. It's stupid. It's not a bad answer, but it's still stupid. Stabbed. He's Ooh. gonna pick stabbed. Do stabbed. Uh, I'm not picking stabbed. Okay, He'll pick art. <laughs> <laughs> In 2011, a man in Kern County, California, died in a most unusual way after getting stabbed by a blank. Wait, is it the instrument he stabbed by, or the? I think it's the instrument. Entity doing the stabbing. Like, what if it's a? Monkey? Either way, I guess. Um. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna enter one and it's the other. I want it to be a chimpanzee. <laughs> That's stabbing him. <laughs> it's like going absolutely crazy. And Stabbing Jonathan, you're out of time. No! A baby? I submitted. A, I submitted. Ba I submitted. a baby, a sport, a rooster with a knife, and a crackhead. Aww. Okay. <laughs> These are all so hard. They're really bad. <clears throat> a baby, a spork, a rooster with a knife, and a crackhead. I'm, I'm referring to like every round that we're doing. They're all They're so hard. They're pretty difficult, yeah. How would a rooster hold a knife? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, we all know. How would a baby be with a knife? stab hard enough? <laughs> pick quick, Caleb. <laughs> all right. Pick the wrong one. one. Uh, yeah, pick the wrong one. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> crackhead just seems so real. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Oh, is it not Spork? Nope. <clears throat> I really thought it'd be Spork. Well done. Is it? No way. There's no way. Yes! It's not rooster with a knife. What? It wasn't a baby. How is it a rooster with a knife? How does that work? I don't want to know. Look this story up. We need to look this story up. Okay, look it up. All right, it was 2011 Kern, Kern County, California. Just look up Rooster with a Knife. That'll bring it up. <laughs> oh, yes. All the other instances of roosters running around with knives. I mean, it could have... They can technically fly a little. So it could have flown over him and like, dropped it. Pick it, it up know, with a talon Dropped it. Yeah, it might be able to pick it up with its feet. 
I guess. You guys are overthinking this. Did you? Is that how you weeded out crackhead? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was hoping to give me an easy one. Oh, I'll go to the spa. Who's up for a mani pedi? <laughs> Oh my gosh, please. All right, due to a highly unusual service that they offer, the Gideon's Putnam Resort and Spa in New York is informally known as the Blank Hotel. <laughs> Does anyone know how to oh spell? No, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> M A S. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not at all what I was going for. Something Japanese. Uh, anyway. <laughs> It's gonna, we're all gonna get really dirty and it's gonna be un, like really <laughs> terrible. Hey, don't all right, my butthole people. hotel, oily hotel, happy ending hotel, pretty, and pretty the divorce hotel. I'm not even giving the other ones a like. I'm pretty confident uh, about this. I think I know which one it is. We all picked pretty quick. It's we all picked be, divorce, yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> happy ending didn't buy either of you guys. <laughs> Oily, oily. oily? <laughs> That's yours, Sam? <laughs> no. I was out of time and Butthole Hotel had a ring to it. So I just went with it. Except for once, Jonathan put like the least weird one on there. Oh, Oily's not weird? <laughs> Is that your idea of normal, Caleb? <laughs> I said the least weird. Okay, Jonathan. Pick your poison. Uh, morning. morning. I just poisoned this. <laughs> Oh. A Holiday Inn in Panama City, Florida has a strange tradition during spring break. At 11 a.m. every morning, the hotel wakes up their partied out guest by blank. <laughs> okay, I wasn't particularly creative on this, but. It's still pretty funny. <laughs> I really don't know. All right. The blood. <laughs> All right. The hotel wakes up their party out guests by blood of a sinner, releasing a monkey into their room, playing Circle of Life really loud, and playing Van Halen. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, Panama. They just uh, blast out Panama. Uh, okay. Ooh, I know the answer to this one. I think I know the answer. Um, <laughs> it's the circle of life, fellas. Yes, I knew it because Van Halen. Panama. Yeah, it was in the same vein, because though. The fact that you said it is what sold it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, you, what sold uh, it out for me <laughs> is that, in the correct answer, they used quotation marks, and I know you guys are too lazy for that. Well, Van Halen wouldn't be quote, wouldn't That's have true. quotation marks. It's a band name. That's true. Neither of us would have put. <laughs> yeah, I've ruled out people by like punctuation uh, and stuff. Oh, this is gonna answers. be stupid. All right, <laughs> according to a strange study by Hold that that, that State University psychology <laughs> professor Blank, as a group of people are extremely happy with their lives. Oh, Blank, as a group of people are extremely happy with their lives. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing way too much? <laughs> I don't know. Hurry, Sam. All right. Swingers are extremely happy with their lives. <laughs> Cancer patients are extremely happy with their lives. Used car sales <laughs> are extremely happy with their lives, and 80s metalheads are extremely happy with their lives. <laughs> I probably picked the wrong one, but I don't care. I don't even know. I'm going to use my defibrillator. I already used that it. That didn't help. Those were the two I was going between. <laughs> That's how the defibrillator works, Sam. <laughs> okay. You got like one I, second. Okay. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Thank you. Darn it. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> I hope I got the right one. It's probably Jonathan. It's 80s metalheads. That's the correct Dang answer. Dang it! Swingers. Yes, correct. 
80s metalheads? That's just a specific that make... category. Is that still a category? Are there still 80s metalheads? It's 2016. I, I went to school with a bunch of people. <laughs> they were, I see their posts all the time on Facebook about 80s metal. Makes sense. They're all okay. apparently very happy. I'm losing! Well, you deserve it. You and your used gotta, car sales. I gotta burn it on the final I got a like on cancer patients. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Ooh. anyone's game except Caleb's. Um, <laughs> you had fewer score? points last time. Yeah, whatever. Jonathan has as many as you do. I just don't like you. That's really all that meant. Yeah. Alright, the name for an individual banana in a bunch. I'm pretty sure it's a banana. <laughs> I was but, say yeah. that. <laughs> it's just a banana. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> I thought, how would it not be banana? I don't I, know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Well, apparently chocolate squares aren't chocolate squares. They're pips. So, <laughs> all right. The name for an individual banana in a bunch, a bangle. Finger, a fruit, banana. <laughs> Miss, Miss, Miss you misspelled Mal. banana, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really? That was running yeah. out of time. It doesn't have two ends. <laughs> I'll give you a like for it, though. B A N A N A. I was running out of time. Banana was in the prompt, Jonathan. That would have been that would have been a really tough question, though. That, that would have messed with us. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> for that. The problem is, I'm sure Sam picked the right one, too. Yeah. A finger? Yeah. Well, considering I put Bangle, it's the only other one that made sense. <laughs> bangle was a pretty good one. Yeah. It was a, I'm pretty sure Bangle is a word. Yeah, it is. It, 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 it's totally unrelated to bananas. It means, it means, it means ring, actually. Okay. Yeah, uh, something... Well. It's a synonym to ring. All That's right. All I, I don't know these. Jonathan had 7,000. You had some, and I had like 13,000. So, so the, I win. The score just inversed itself. It inverted, in yeah. Game. And I got the most likes. Well, I can't think of a better way to end this. Let's play. Thank you all for watching. I hope you didn't kill yourself out of sadness from watching this. You probably did. We're talking to a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 we are. This is just great. Fibbage is Go fantastic. download Fibbage right it's, now. Change your life. Great. Yeah. Have you amazing. heard the good news? Yes, you have, because you're at the end of the video. I know you watched it. Or you skipped to the end. By the way, I just said it. <laughs> so you heard the good news. All right. Convert to Fibbage. Cookie Masterson's not his real name. No! What? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? What? What, what are you <laughs> talking about? I, I don't... <laughs> What is he talking about? Do you have any I'm idea? I know what's my quick. Alright, goodbye everyone. <laughs>